In this video, we'll drive down the scenic forgotten coast of Florida, see the historic homes, and the unusual in Apalachicola, visit beautiful Carabelle Beach and the town of Carabelle. where we'll have a lunch at Phantom's Restaurant and see the world's smallest police station. We'll end up at the Oklahoma River, just short of Panacea, Florida. Hi, we're Dave and Kathy Hyde. Three years ago, we quit our jobs, sold everything we had, and set out to see the world. That's not true. Okay, we retired, didn't sell a damn thing, and armed with three pensions and two social security checks, we set out to see the world. Over the course of the next three years, we've been in all 48 of the continuous continental United States, four Canadian provinces, and two states in Mexico. So welcome to our channel. Step right in and enjoy the ride. One beautiful sunny morning, we took a drive down the beautiful Florida's Forgotten Coast. We left from Port St. Joe, Florida, traveled south, and then across the Appalachian Peninsula over to Apalachicola. Then we entered the beautiful old historic town of Apalachicola. We're going to do a full video of Apalachicola coming out later, so I'm only going to do a brief drive through right now. Apalachicola is a beautiful small town. has some beautiful old historic buildings, old cemeteries, some beautiful old houses. Beautiful old houses and churches. It also has the unusual. So much more will be in our upcoming video on Apalachicola. Then we headed up and out of Apalachicola, across the Apalachicola Bridge, and continued on US Highway 98, Florida's Forgotten Coast Highway. We're on US 98, crossing the Apalachicola Bridge, up in the distance there on, on the right side of the car is the bridge that goes out to St. George Island. You couldn't see the bridge that went out to St. George Island. However, you'll get a much better view of it in our upcoming video of St. George Island. That'll be coming soon. Now we continue down the beautiful Florida's Forgotten Coast Highway on towards Carabelle Beach. It's just a beautiful coastal highway. Just a roadside park along the beach, the Forgotten Coast. Nice little beach. You can see 
some of the barrier islands. One of those is supposed to be Dog Island. Probably the big one out here, Dog Island. Yeah. Which is, there is no road to go to it, so you gotta get to all of these islands by boat. Uh, you can't see St. George Island, but that would be out this way here. Nice area. Place to eat lunch. You can see the Coast Highway right over here. place, isn't it? Yeah. Right down by the beach. It's a little bit cool today. What was that? Yeah. Well, there's lots of them. <laughs> yeah, there's people on the beach. Right out across from that roadside park, the beach park, is a historical marker. And this is Camp Gordon Johnson World War II Museum and the monument. This is actually where they trained for D-Day, the D-Day invasion in World War II. Uh, you can see the flags flying half past. I'm not sure why. But this is the site of a military camp that they trained for D Day. We continued our drive heading east along Florida's Forgotten Coast Highway. And it was just a beautiful drive. We'd have about another hour, hour, maybe a little bit longer to get to Panacea, which is where we're going to end this drive today and come on back and go to lunch in Carabell, the city itself. Next stop will be at the Oklachne River, just shy of Panacea. You see Oklachne River behind uh, my mother and Kathy? Boys, if you remember, we used to come down to this park all the time. There was a trail, there is a trail, right over here that we walked along the river and found all kinds of seashells. And this is very close to what we call the stick house. That's right behind us about two miles away. We came down to this park quite often. And this is the Oak Lockney River, the Oak Lockney Bridge. And Panacea is the city that we would eat, go grocery shopping and stuff like that, which is right across the bridge here. See, it's a big river. That's the trail that we used to walk down, guys. We're not going to do it today. Then we began our drive back to the west, back towards Carabelle, where there's a restaurant that we had heard of called Phantoms that a lot of YouTube vloggers really seem to like, so we're gonna try it out for lunch. Uh, for some of you here, you're gonna be able to notice that I'm still driving east in this footage. Uh, that's because I only recorded video as I was driving went to the east. 
I didn't record it coming back west until we almost reached Apalachicola. But we're on our way now west to Carabelle. We're here in Carabelle, Florida. Uh, there's a restaurant here called Phantom's Seafood Restaurant and uh, Raw Bar that we've seen on a lot of YouTube videos and it looks very good. So we're going to go and have lunch. It's only 11 o'clock central time but it's noon here and uh, we're going to go eat in the restaurant. Phantom's Seafood Restaurant and Raw Bar. You can see all the oyster shells making up the driveway. Phantom Steam, Steam Room and Raw Bar. All the reviews and YouTube vloggers say it's very good. That's my mother and Kathy going in. We got done with dinner at Phantoms and it was very good. Uh, took a little bit long to get the food, but there was a lot of people, it was crowded and and, it, and the food, the wait was worth it. Uh, across the street from Phantom in Carabelle, what they claim is the world's smallest police station. It's actually that phone booth that's across the way. Right here. This is what they claim is the world's smallest police station. They rented a, or they bought a, an old phone booth. And inside it tells the history up on the wall, the Carabelle Police Department. I've seen these in other places. Not personally, but I've seen them in, in Europe where different cities claim to be the world's smallest police department. Other than that, visitor center, it's very scenic, very nice here. Small little town, right on the Gulf. That's the Carabell River, which flows out into the Gulf right over next to us here. Nice area. So we're traveling west on US 98, which is the coast highway. end today's video. We hope you enjoyed seeing Florida's Forgotten Coast with us. And remember, uh, as we're entering into Apalachicola here, you're going to see much more of Apalachicola in our upcoming video of it. Again, we hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave us a comment down below and tell us what you think. Hit that like button and please subscribe to our channel.